The truth is clear. October 10. The message of Revelation 14, proclaiming that the hour of God's judgment is come, is given in the time of the end. And the angel of Revelation 10 is represented as having one foot on the sea and one foot on the land, uh, showing that the message will be carried to distant lands. Uh, the ocean will be crossed and the islands of the sea will hear the proclamation of the last message of warning. The Bible tells us in Revelation chapter 10, verse 5 and 6, it says, And the angel which I saw uh, stand upon the sea and upon the earth, uh, lifted up his hand to heaven, and swear by him that liveth for ever and ever who created heaven, and the things that therein are, and the earth, and the things that therein are, and the sea, and the things which are therein, uh, that they should be time no longer. Uh, this particular message announces the end of the prophetic periods, the disappointment of those who expected to see our Lord and Savior. In 1844, uh, was indeed bitter, to those who had so ardently looked for his appearance, uh, understand that this was after God's own order, that this disappointment uh, should come. Now, you might be wondering today uh, how to be sure that this uh, 1844 disappointment was in the Lord's order. It is simple. Uh, Revelation chapter 10 uh, prophecy it was fulfilled uh, over 1,500 1, years after it was written, just as the word uh, says. Now, we ought to trust uh, God's word uh, today. Uh, God is always there to give his children guidance. Why not let us pray uh, to, and ask God uh, to remain faithful, uh, faithful to him and faithful uh, to his word, and so that as we see the prophecies fulfilling, uh, we would understand that his coming is even at the door. Why not let's just ask God for pure faithfulness today. Heavenly Father, we just ask you today uh, for pure faithfulness. Help us to be faithful to you. Help us to be faithful to your word. Help us to be faithful to your second coming. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.